Maser is actually you know independent startup of consumer technology and consumer electronics and we are a group which is into you know many product segment of consumer electronics like LED TVs smart watches wearable all the wearable products TWS even the large appliances wide appliances like air conditioner washing machine refrigerator and many more we have covered most of the products in consumer electronics at a low cost segment at the same time we do not compromise on quality the quality is very important one thing maser is obsessive, obsessive about so you know we are manufacturing in africa in nigeria specifically and we are distributing in all parts of africa and middle east also middle east we have a logistic facility where we redistribute from middle east to africa and various other places in the world and now we have plans to expand in southern america portion where we have already registered our trademark and everything and everything is well in place see we if you ask about my journey i accidentally entered to happen into africa we had a shipment huge shipment coming to dubai market from india because we could not clear that shipment because of some regulations what changed that time so we happened to sold you know some of the uh, big numbers to some agents and distributors in dubai market and you know eventually it got sold out and redistributed to african market then those customers contacted us and you know that is how we got the market in the starting so choosing dubai as a hub because i did my graduation from dubai bits pilani dubai campus so i was used to the place and i really used to like the place and the geography of this particular place is very good that even the africa india or even the far east all the regions are you know aligned across the border you can say by the sea so the location is very strategic that is how you know dubai we choose as a base see there are several key challenges to every business every business has a pros and cons and you know but to reach a certain point you need to start from a certain point in our industry or any industry if i give you example about my industry is the gray market is one of the biggest challenge people copy the brand and you know get the same brand from china and many places because china being the leader manufacturer for the components we are just assembling the components we as in you know the entire world is just assembling the components for my particular products but you know these are the challenges but then at the same time if you follow it everything correctly by the legal team and everything in well in place and your partners and everyone is very good you know the outside country then you know you can also file a ipr and take control of it but yes the gray market is one of the biggest challenge other than this you know the shipping and logistics sometimes becomes a challenge because you know dubai is a free free trade port but africa is not in africa every country every state you know has a different custom regulations and different it's not like india the, the goods and service tax law in india like is you know unified across india but in africa it's different so you need to have you know network and everything with you know different parts you have to take along you know everyone see of course i'll tell you this was also a hoarding you know because uh, the shipping price went crazy high at that particular time and uh, you know right now the if i'll give you a short example from china to dubai right now the cost for 40 feet high container is 1000 dollars at that time it went to 7000 dollars imagine you know it's not even 100% it's you know it's more than 1000% so at that time also we had a huge shipment coming you know like 100 containers 200 containers the overflow of money and everything you know does drastically changed we had to arrange you know 1000% 7000% more money for freight and then eventually you know we had to increase our price you know at that particular time but yes of course there was a huge issue and then you know containers were not coming back to china there was shortage of containers there was some players who were creating artificial shortage due to with certain components of electronics also like semiconductor there was a issue in semiconductors production due to all these things see of every technology industry were dealing to pandemic at that particular time and these issues in terms of monetary growth if you see you know we have grown more than 200 300% year on year from starting from 2018 and last year you know our revenue started increasing which you know crossed to 500 million dollars so that that particular time we raised the venture debt from someone in far east which made a valuation more than 1.9 billion dollars so you know for us the valuation is not that important because you know we are not in a, we are not wanting to sell our major 
equity to someone but at the same time you know we want to keep the company consistent and everything see for investment recently after we got the valuation of you know 1.9 billion dollars then we opened a private equity company in dubai based in dubai to fund the startups in africa uk india and middle east sector so we have funded more than 5 startups recently and one in the uh, field of shipping company also so we have plans now we have we have a office and team well in place with the bankers where we get the files and everything and we see the files carefully and buy the equity in the company this is one of the latest avenues then we are planning to enter into real estate market as a developer in middle east market so these are our plans and you know for the electronic segment we do not have any manufacturing plans in uae because you know it is not making any sense right now in terms of profit because it's a free trade port but yes we have a plan to expand logistic facilities in africa more and more in different parts of areas